As Congress voted to avoid a government shutdown last week, tensions ran high on Capitol Hill. I'm not going to give you your time back. We can stop the clock. You all continue to, you look like a smurf here just going around and all this stuff. Stand your butt up then. You stand your butt up. Oh, hold on. Oh, oh, stop it. Is that your Sorry. solution every poll? No, no, sit down. The House spent weeks ejecting and electing a speaker, and both chambers avoided a government shutdown twice. But for all the sound and fury, lawmakers have not passed much legislation. A hot mess and a waste of time. This was a wasted week. One thing. I want my Republican colleagues to give me one thing, one, that I can go campaign on and say we did. One. Since convening in January, the 118th Congress has passed just 22 bills that were signed into law. According to congressional data, that makes it the least productive first 11 months of any Congress since the 72nd Congress, which began in 1931. For comparison, the last 10 Congresses have averaged 390 bills signed into law per term. I think we coined the do-nothing Congress almost 80 years ago, but it's more true now than ever. So we have a Congress that's really just not passing legislation. It's no single factor. One is the margin is very small in terms of the Republican majority. The other is there's intra-party fighting. So the Republican majority is not united. Another factor here is that there are fewer competitive seats. And so there are more representatives who don't have an incentive to actually compromise. Jessica Levinson of the Loyola Law School in Los Angeles says the concern by some Republicans that their new majority in the House could be threatened by a lack of accomplishments is real. If their representatives go back and aren't able to say, here's what I did, if they're just able to say, well, we failed to do things that would have been really bad. I blocked bad things. You know, running on a record of inaction is not a great place for a candidate to be in. House Republicans are blaming the Senate for the lack of legislation this year, but a majority of the bills coming out of the House, including the Republican-led border security measure, have been hyperpartisan, all but guaranteeing that the Democratic-controlled Senate won't take it up. And next year doesn't look any more promising as Democrats and Republicans prepare for another bruising budget battle. Republicans are likely to seek new spending cuts under new Speaker Mike Johnson. In Washington, Cassie Simeon, Spectrum News.